Hi everybody, this is Amin Ra again um, with Imagination Everywhere. Um, I'm just doing this quick screencast um, for those of you who um, are dealing with uh, developers who have dedicated servers and need to point your domain name to their dedicated servers in order for your website to be displayed and worked on. <clears throat> so I'm here at GoDaddy. Go ahead and sign into your account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that myself. Um, and I actually have some domains I need to. I need to go ahead and. Uh, I need to go ahead and renew anyway. So, let me show you how to um, point a domain to a server, so that again. Um, it can be you know done so I'm gonna go here um, I have uh, some products that need to be renewed uh, I thought I had some products that needed to be renewed let me go here so I'm gonna go to display all my domains let me just go to display all my domains okay so as you can see I got two domains node app company and um, no you know that um, which um, if you're not a developer you're not gonna know what node is but node is a big thing in the developer community so let me go ahead and click these first and foremost um, and get these renewed renew domains <coughs> I want to go ahead and just renew them for one year uh, I don't need any of this um, I actually have a SSL certificate for the server so that's not a thing that I need um, and then we're gonna go ahead and check this out $32 uh, is what it costs to renew these domains and um, I always do charity and I do help hope for Haiti just to be cool so we proceed to check out agree gonna use my credit card on file and check it out okay now so I have my domains um, renewed now I'm gonna go back to my managed domain so from anybody that has to do it from the beginning you know you can just go up to click on my account and then go to view, visit my account <clears throat> after you've signed in um, go to manage your domains and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the first domain know that company uh, dot com and I'm gonna click on that and down here is what we have is called name servers now I do need to change these uh, name servers so um, it's actually not going to allow me to do that right now um, but this is where you go and you change your name servers so well, let me go back to all domains oh it's active now so let me go back to node app, app company and so I'm going to go ahead and change these name servers um, so I'm going to click on manage and um, I'm actually just going to edit these uh, name servers so edit and I just want to change just change these to three and four right now um, and that's it um, let's see here dead off of there just want to make sure that it uh, that it gets everything so I got IE3 and IE4 those are the name servers click OK and you get your name servers from the developer who is has a dedicated server 
and um, they will give you their they will they will give you your name servers. All you have to do is just go in because you own the domain and they own the hosting uh, for your website. So you know basically, um, if you ever have an issue and you have a dispute with the developer, um, they should always give you a copy of your website and you own the domain and you can take it to you know to another server or to another you know service even to GoDaddy if you want them to host your site they will have you change their name servers um, back um, you know they'll just give you some default name servers if you know you don't have it I'm not gonna, I can actually show you that um, so I just wanted to show you how quickly they update the name servers they do update it real quick but if you wanted to change it back and have GoDaddy uh, host your site you just click on standard and um, they will give you you know some name servers as you can see that you know and then you buy hosting from them so um, let me cancel that so that's basically how easy it is to go and get a domain and if you have a developer that you're working with that has a dedicated server and they give you your name servers just go in and change your name servers that's it thank you guys for watching this screencast